Get their weapons and put on their uniforms. Make it fast. <clears throat> All right. On your feet. Hands overhead, against the wall. Platoon! Over in the right! On the double! You try that again, you get five bullets in your face. Hey, where'd you learn how to speak English? In Los Angeles, California, where I was born, soldier. Bastard, filthy Nazi. Back up! And when you talk, say, sir, I'm Major Carter of the Marine Corps. Keep your hands in the air. <laughs> well, why? If what you're saying is true. Because you don't believe me, and I don't want to have to blow your head off. Hey, Nolan. What if he really is? A squad of Marines inside the German lines, wearing SS clothes? Hey, friend, you cracked. If you want to know, it was a command on a special operation. You can be real proud of yourselves, you morons. Do you realize that what you just did was to kill all the best damn men of the Allied forces? If those idiots on the ground who just snored to death are the best, we can probably count on losing this war. Yeah, soldier, you can pretty well bet on that. Don't you guys listen to him, a bastard German liar. But if he really is a Nazi, he better start blasting us. He wants information. What do you mean, information? He knows we're Americans and lost. What more? Control! In here! All right! Sergeant, line up your men. Platoon, ten, cut! Fourth platoon of C Company of the 3rd Battalion, 2nd Marines, prepared to carry out orders, sir. All right, men. I want your names and your professions in civilian life. Sergeant Arthur Nolan. Actor. Private Henry Smith, student. Private Gilbert Adams, mechanic, household electrician, radio repair and maintenance. Sergeant Geronimo Lightcloud. I'm a lawyer. Indian? Cheyenne, sir. Private Thomas Nichols, boxer, sir. Kid Nichols? <laughs> yes, sir. I saw you fight Olsen. If it weren't for the war, you'd be the champion. I appreciate that, sir. Corporal John Terrence. I was breaking in ponies, sir. I've got to warn you all, if you fall into the hands of the Germans, you're going to be treated hard. On the other hand, if you manage to contact our own lines, I think what you can look forward to is a nice little court-martial. Do I have to explain that? But the uniforms were SS. How could we have known who they were? I think I can give you a way to find out, even though you don't deserve it. If it's what I'm thinking, I'm sure we don't deserve it, sir. I must say I don't care for wisecrackers, Sergeant. I'm sorry, sir. If I'd known about that, I would have enlisted in the Air Force. Our mission is of vital importance. So now you will have to risk your lives in place of the men that you killed. I better warn you right now, men. There's one chance in a thousand of getting out alive. If you don't accept, there isn't even that one. Will anybody have any objections? We weren't trained for this type of work, sir. That's why I said there's only one chance of getting out alive. The Nazis are going to be laughing pretty hard at us. Laughing is good for the spirit, soldier. Anything else? This type of mission requires volunteers. That's just what you are. We'll go back to our own lines, sir. It's all the same. And you will then explain your little operation to a court-martial. I don't figure that, sir. Who would inform them? I would, and I take great pleasure seeing all of you lined up in front of a firing squad. 
But we're at war, sir, and in enemy territory. I mean, it's very risky inside their lines. And if, say, something happened to you, you wouldn't get there to accuse us. As a favor, I'll forget you've just said that. I wouldn't believe that of any man in the Marines. That means you too, sir. I don't think that any officer of the Marines would have to depend on a threat. Very well. If there are any volunteers, I want them to take the uniforms and the weapons from the dead men. Break ranks. Come on, let's do it. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, but you're the only one who doesn't speak German, Cheyenne. People are to believe that you're really a prisoner. I'm gonna have to hit you a little bit! Enough! We are not here to play games. The next time I'll kill you. Nolan, you'll have to do the same with your group. Our lives are of no importance if they obstruct this mission. Not even yours, sir. Right. Well then, who's gonna let me know if I'm supposed to kill you? Of course I mean when necessary. Don't worry, I'll wink. Now listen to me, men. You are to find General Strelitzer and have him take you where he's going. All right, we'll be meeting in Trinigan. I'll pick up.